All right, man, let's say sir, man. man. I got to talk about this, man. I watched a 1992 Rumble. <laughs> Wrestling Rumble, man. They had some of the greats in there, man. Now, I I probably can't get to the audience that I want to talk to, but, man, they had, um, they had the Hulk. They had my favorite with the Undertaker. I thought he was a beast, man. They had um, Superfly Jimmy Snooker. They had Hacksaw Jim Dugan with the 2 by 4 man. <laughs> that was cool. Macho, man. Um, who else they had? Um, hold up. Let me see. They had um, Ted DiBiase. I remember him. I wrote this shit down. They had Ted DiBiase. They had the British Bulldog who was swole. Uh, Rick Flair. Rick Flair ended up winning the whole thing, man. But, man, I'm talking about Lex Logan. Huge. Well, they were taking steroids back then, though, but... Man, the hammer, Valentine. Let's see who else on that sucker. The boss. Um, I think that's some. Oh yeah, and Jake the Snake. Jake the Snake, man. I mean, dude, man, they were just kicking each other ass, man. <laughs> I'm because you know, you know they train. You know they. They are great athletes. Don't get me wrong. They're great athletes, and a lot of it is fake. But when you body slamming and when you jumping off those ropes and everything, all that shit real, you can't fake that. So they they are entertainers. Just like wrestling, basketball, anything else. But they good at what they do, man. But dude, man, I'm laughing my ass off, man. Cause I remember back, man, they had Abdullah the Butcher. Cause he was he stayed right in Atlanta when I stayed in Atlanta. As a matter of fact, I went to see him rap. Scared me shit. Look, I was on the front row. And you know how he walked around getting crazy and looking, got the things in his eye. But I'm going to tell you something, man. I met him one time. He got a New York accent, man. Abdul Butcher from, from Sudan. He's from New York. <laughs> but anyway, man, I just I just thought it was just interesting, man. And I thought it was entertaining back then. This was in 92. And they just kicking each other ass, man. I loved it, son. Yeah, if you want to look at something that, I mean, if, if you're not into wrestling, I can understand that. But wrestling is entertaining. And they make a lot of money, too. Gotta make a lot of money. A lot of money. Somebody tried to talk me into doing that. When I weigh about 220, 7% body fat, tried to talk me into trying out for it. I said, I don't like, I don't like getting hit. You know, I know it's a fake hit, but still look, <laughs> still a hit. And I'm going to tell you something else before I get off, man. Know how they slap them in the chest? Pow, it sounds good. But the thing about it is, they have... A wrestle in the corner, I have about seven, eight guys that come and just smack him in the chest so he get used to it. That's fact, now that's true. Get used to it. So when you hear that slap, it sound all real and everything, man. Ain't hurting that guy, man. You already used to it, man. But I just thought I'd just share that with y'all, man. But um, you know, um the Undertaker, that was my dog, man. Honestly. <laughs> my dog, man. But you need to go check it out. If you don't watch some funny or whatever, man. I'll drink me a couple beers. I just want to watch the shit and see them guys just, just flex on each other. You know what I mean? But anyway, like I always say, man, search for every day. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, everything, man. I'm on everything, man. Go down my stuff. Show down my stuff, man. I guarantee you find something that'll make you laugh. I'll make you think about it. Like I always say, search the network up.